In my 10 year career to date, I have taken two breaks from my full time job in order to pursue my side hustles. The first was in 2014 when I took a three month break from my consulting job at KPMG in order to spend my full time focusing on my first startup, Quenched. And the second was in 2017, where I quit my job completely after working there only for nine months in order to build my second startup from the ground up. In the first scenario, I ended up going back to work after that three months. In the second scenario, I ended up working for myself for close to two years. Through my experiences, I've learned when it's the right time to leave your full-time job and pursue a side hustle completely versus when you should take into account some other considerations as to why it might not be in fact the best time for you to quit your job and pursue your side hustle. Please keep in mind that this is my own opinion from my own experience. I totally acknowledge that everyone's circumstance is going to be different and it will depend so much on what your driver and motivation is for even having a side hustle. For some people, side hustles are a creative outlet and they are purely passion projects. Whereas someone else might actually want their side hustle to eventually become their main hustle and their main source of income. So, but I'm really focusing on someone who is currently working a somewhat nine to five job. They are interested in spending more time on their side hustle and they're not quite sure when is the right time to make that switch from maybe spending less time on the nine to five and the more traditional job and more time on the side hustle. Reflecting on my own experiences, I think the first time when I took that three month break from my consulting job, I made the right decision. It was great to know that I was gonna have a set period of time to focus on my startup full time, but I still had a safety net in that I could return to my job again after three months. In the second situation where I completely quit my job and I was all on my own, I had a lot more pressure to succeed, a lot of financial pressure and really no safety net at all apart from diminishing savings. Not having that safety net adds further fuel to the fire. This video is for that person who is a little bit unsure about whether they should or should not go full time on their startup. Learn from my mistakes. I am going to be playing the devil's advocate in this video because I think it is so much better to make that decision carefully and slowly. And I really want to share with you the learnings that I've had through my own experiences of going full time on a side hustle. Reason number one, you should not leave your day job for your side hustle is Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law says that the amount of work you have will expand to fill the time available for its completion. When you have less time to work on your side hustle because a big chunk of your day is spent working your full time job, and you need to manage your side hustle tasks in far fewer hours, you will actually be forced to focus on getting only the most important tasks done. And because you have less time in your day, you will be forced to plan your day and structure your day in a way that gives you a fixed period of time, although it might be less than you ideally want, to get something done for your side hustle, hopefully each and every night. From my own experience, when I ended up with a full 24 hours, seven days a week of being able to do anything and everything that I wanted to for my startups, I suddenly started to do things that were not the most critical. Because I suddenly had so much time, I wanted to try and do absolutely everything. I wanted to try and maximize my time. But in fact, I was having the opposite effect. I was busy, but I was busy doing the wrong things. So taking the traditional nine to five job, either you could spend an hour or two before your job doing some work for your side hustle. Alternatively, you could spend a few hours after work doing work for your side hustle. You could set aside a certain number of hours that you want to work on it a week and split that up across either the mornings or the evenings of your week and then write down the specific tasks that you need to do in that period of time. And coming back to Parkinson's law, if you allocate yourself a certain amount of time to do something, most likely you're gonna use that entire time to do it. But because you know that you have a finite amount of time, hopefully you will use that to do only what is absolutely most important. Now, I know you're probably thinking that if you had the entire day free, you would get so much done. And 
maybe that is the case. From my own experience, when I suddenly had a whole 24 hours free, seven days a week to do whatever it is that I wanted, I realized that I was suddenly doing the things that were not the most important not the most impactful things that were actually going to move my side hustle forward. But when you have limited time, because you are working a nine to five job, you're squeezing in side hustle work before work or after work or late into the night, you only have a finite number of hours to do what is absolutely most important. And chances are when you do only have that limited time, you will actually be more productive and really be maximizing the few hours that you have every single day. The second thing that relates to this is you will create time in your week to get stuff done. If you look at your week and you take out the hours that you need to work, do life things like shower and eat and maybe you have to commute, take out some time for family and friends and social things that you have going on, you probably still have a good number of hours left in the day. If you're really motivated to use your time well, then trust me, you will find ways to create time in your week. You will tweak and adjust your routine so that you have enough hours allocated to work on your side hustle. Look at your week take out all the hours that you know you will be absolutely busy and you will find a way to create some time in your schedule. Do that before you think you need to quit your job completely in order for that time to become available. The second reason you should not leave your day job for your side hustle is because you can take more risks with your side hustle ideas and you can experiment. When your side hustle is truly just a side hustle, you can be more creative with it. You can really explore the ambitious ideas that you have for it without the pressure of it failing because you have a backup and your backup or your safety net is currently your day job. But as soon as you get rid of that safety net, which is your day job, pressure you will have for your side hustle or side hustles to succeed is going to be exponential. And when you have that pressure of it needing to succeed because you don't necessarily have a safety net, you're going to make decisions that you think are right purely for the purposes of it being successful. Whereas you could grow your side hustle to become something sustainable more gradually. If you had ideas that you wanted to experiment with, you could do that without the fear or that those might not work out. Sometimes our best work is done when we let our mind run free with all the ideas and possibilities of what something could be. But as soon as you remove that safety net, you're suddenly going to be driven and pressured to make decisions to absolutely ensure that the side hustle succeeds. And it means that you may not have the room to pursue or experiment with other ideas and opportunities that you see for your side hustle idea. Now, I'm not saying that if you're working on a side hustle full time, you cannot take risks and you cannot experiment, but you just have to take into consideration the consequences of something not working a lot more than when it is a side hustle and you don't have as much pressure for it to succeed by a certain amount of time. Who knows? Like if you did experiment with things and ideas and uh, opportunities that you thought were going to be good for that side hustle, who knows what it could become rather than being forced to make decisions or do something because you just need this thing to succeed because it's now like your only potential source of income. Reason number three, you should not leave your day job for your side hustle is because you can use your income from your day job to actually help accelerate and support your side hustle. If you have a source of income, there are certain things you can use that income for in order to fund your side hustle, whether that's hiring people to do certain things, paying for certain types of software, maybe you need to buy materials because you're doing something physical, like whatever the resource needs that you have for your side hustle are, that's going to be so much more easier for you to fund if you do have a source of income rather than not having that or having a pool of savings that are constantly diminishing. The other benefit in having the funding available to support your side hustle is that this might actually make it grow faster. It might help to accelerate it. Whereas when you leave your day job, yes, you have more time to spend on it, but there are certain things that are still gonna cost you money. Hopefully you've set aside a 
pool of money to support yourself while you pursue this thing full time. But keep in mind that that is constantly going to be a depleting pool of funds. An example from my own experience in my second scenario where I quit my job, I definitely felt the financial pressure of this depleting pool of life savings that I had. I had a pool of savings, but we also managed to raise some investment for the startup. But we had to pay developers, we had to pay designers. We also had some living costs for ourselves. And that is something that progressively got worse and worse every single month to the point where I actually started considering getting a part-time job. I actually didn't ever get a part-time job because I kept thinking that if I got the part-time job, I was going to be losing time. But I actually feel like I lost a lot of time and mental capacity because I was constantly worrying about the financial burden that I was experiencing. So I might have been better off working part-time maybe two days a week and then I could have potentially been more productive on the three or five other days that I was working on the side hustle because I did not have as much pressure for things to succeed and just worrying about running out of money. This reason is really a mindset shift rather than thinking that your day job is holding you back because you're not able to put as much time into your side hustle. Think about how you can deploy the resources that you actually have into resources that can actually help you fuel that side hustle. The fourth reason you should not leave your day job for your side hustle is you might actually like your job. I feel like there is a lot of pressure for people to pursue this entrepreneurial path and side hustle has suddenly become this buzzword. And there seems to be this perception that just because you have a side hustle, you intend for it to become your main hustle at some point in time. But you know what? If you enjoy your job or if you're happy for your side hustle to eventually become a part-time job or maybe you always want to do both, that is totally fine. And I can tell you that is the position that I am in now. I don't have really any plans for my side hustles to become my main hustles, but I certainly have plans for them to become a big chunk of my income and how I spend my time. The reasons that you love your side hustle right now might actually be because it is a side hustle. So make sure that you are considering leaving your day job for the right reasons and not because you think just working on a side hustle is a cool thing because as soon as your side hustle becomes your main hustle, a lot of the glamour is going to go away. Your side hustle is also going to bring you a breadth of skills that your day job maybe doesn't. So this actually means that in addition to the skills and experiences that you are building in your day job, you're actually complementing that with a whole potentially new set of skills that come with your side hustle. Having a consistent side hustle in addition to your main day job can actually give you so much confidence, security, a backup plan if things go wrong, and potential extra income. Obviously, you need to manage the time commitment and the time management around always having this thing on the side that you're gonna be doing. With everything that's going on in our economy right now and the number of companies that are doing layoffs, it's a really smart time to potentially keep your main job as long as you can to ride out this highly inflated market and potential recession, but also know that you have another backup and keep building that backup over time. Whereas if you end up in a position where you get laid off from your day job, because honestly it's a reality right now for so many people, and you have no side hustle, you're starting from scratch. I can tell you from my own experience, any of the side hustles that I've had have given me so many transferable skills to my day job. Not only like really tangible hard skills, but also soft skills and this underlying level of confidence that I can think of an idea and I can go and pursue it and I can bring it to life. That I have another skill set and potentially even more new skills that I haven't even uncovered that I am developing that is not dependent on my employer. Basically, you're creating opportunities for yourself on the side and I cannot explain it more than just saying this will definitely bring you a level of confidence that 
you possibly couldn't imagine. Think of using your side hustle as leverage for anything else that you do. You investing in yourself. And the fifth and final reason you should not leave your day job for your side hustle is because there are actually other alternatives. The first option is a shorter work week. Maybe you can work three to four days a week. That way you still have a safety net and income coming in and your day job is still your main thing, but you're allowing a little bit more time in your week to build and focus and grow your side hustle. This is a really good way to still have that safety net, finite time, but a little bit more than if you're working nine, you know, Monday to Friday. And also a great way to test how you would go with actually having a full work day free to work on your own business four days ends up being really successful for you and your side hustle is growing, maybe you can reduce that down to three days and then spend an extra day on that side hustle. But it's an option rather than completely quitting. Maybe you can actually do it gradually if your employer lets you. And so, so, so many companies are going down this route now and it's so much more easier with remote work. The other option you have is to take a short amount of time off if you're really feeling the pressure of needing to focus on your side hustle full time. So this is what I did in my first scenario where I took three months off my consulting job at KPMG. It was a little bit hard to explain this to my employer at the time, but I had been working there for several years. I had proven myself, had a good reputation and really good relationships with my managers. So that was made easier through that conversation. And the third option is to look for a really flexible remote job. This is an option that is so available in 2023 and honestly an option that I wish I had available to myself when I started leaving jobs to work on side hustles. If your company or where you currently work isn't flexible, you could consider switching to something that is more flexible, something that maybe isn't even the same role that you have now, but another type of role that maybe gives you more autonomy, gives you a more flexible schedule. If you have a job that is quite demanding to the point where you feel like maybe you don't have enough mental energy to work on something else after work or before work, perhaps you can consider a different type of role. That could also mean taking a pay cut, but maybe taking a small pay cut is better so that you have the mental capacity to focus on your side hustles rather than completely quitting a job and having all the other pressures and concerns that I've already talked about. Basically, you have so many options available for you in 2023. Leverage them to your advantage. So that is it for this video. These are really my considerations for you before you decide to leave your day job to go full time on your side hustle. As for me, I am really happy with my balance right now. I see my career going down this path where I do lots of different things and I have this portfolio of projects and work that I'm doing. If you do have a side hustle that you think you are gonna go into full time because you are ready for it and your side hustle is ready for it then that is amazing and all the best to you for making that transition i really hope it is successful last but not least please don't be discouraged by this video if you feel like it is the right time for you and it's the right time for your side hustle to make that transition and focus on it full time by all means do that but do it for the right reasons and just take all the considerations into account I know what it's like to be in a position where you feel like you really need to give this thing a go and you need to put all of your eggs in that one basket to see what it could be. And there is so much benefit to that. Sometimes we come across opportunities or ideas or, or, or even passion projects that are just calling us to put all of our energy, invest all of our time and effort into those. And sometimes when that happens, it is totally worth doing it. So at least you don't have any regrets. If there is one thing that I can say from my experiences is as hard as it was, as much pressure I put on myself, I have no regrets. I'm so glad I took that three month break from my job at KPMG. I'm so glad I quit my job at Shopify nine months in to join a startup accelerator, to try to build a business in an industry I knew nothing about to then go through some of that financial pressure. All of that has accumulated to where I am now. And now I feel like at the moment at least, I have a really good balance of working on my full-time job, which is in a discipline that I absolutely love, being product management, uh, working on challenging problems, uh, having great opportunities and working with great people. 
and that flows really nicely into my content creation which and a lot of my content is driven by the experiences and skills and learnings that I have from my product management role and I still get exposure to startups and working with entrepreneurs through the startup advisory work that I do obviously time management is uh, and scheduling is, is still a challenge but for now I'm really really happy with this mix thank you so much if you got this far please like this video if you got some value from it and leave me a comment telling me what your side hustle is assuming you have one which is why you're on this video please subscribe if you haven't already i post videos weekly and i will see you in my next one